Hi, welcome back. Stony Creek here. Moving is a lot harder than I thought it would be. So the old place here we bought in October of 2009. We thought this was going to be our forever home. My wife and I have been together, uh, I don't know, 15 years or so. I've lost count. Don't tell her that. But nonetheless, we've acquired stuff over the years. Now I thought it was going to be pretty easy just moving everything from this household over to the new place, move the animals, and it was going to be a piece of cake. I'm finding that that is not the case. Between weather setbacks, my own uh, physical aches and pains, I've actually been under the weather a few days. It's taken a long time to get moved, a lot longer than what I thought it would be. And what we've been doing is packing up the house, taking a load over to the new place, working on uh, fences, still working on that project, although we're a lot closer. And then of course, uh, we've got lots of outbuildings. Right now, we're standing in my garage. This is one place that I've never filmed before, and probably because I've not been able to get in here. I got a lot of stuff. So one of the things that we've been able to do during this move is actually declutter. We've decided there's a lot of stuff that we don't want to move over to the other place. And I'll pick up something that maybe it was parts from a repair job that I did that's non-functional and I'm wondering why in the world have I kept this? So those things of course have been going straight out into the trash. Uh, believe it or not we've got a four yard dumpster out in the driveway and a lot of things have just been going straight there. Now we have been going through uh, some of our other items, some of the household items, things that we might have duplicates or even triplicates of. And I've not wanted to fool with the, the selling process because that certainly takes time. I've got to people, I've got to advertise it, they've got to either come to here or I've got to meet them and yeah, I, no. So what we've been doing, we've actually been taking a lot of uh, clothes that I've outgrown. I've grown a little over the, the years. But taking uh, clothes that I've outgrown, uh, things that my wife doesn't wear anymore, things that my son's outgrown, we've been doing a lot of trips to the Salvation Army. I think at this point, the, the guys at the dock know my wife by name. But anyway, all that to say this, we have been doing a lot of decluttering. Now one of the reasons that I chose here in the garage to start this video, now that I've gotten a lot of stuff out of the way, one of the hobbies I like to do, I actually like to mechanic and fabricate and do things like that. I've got something here that I've finally been able to find. Now of course, it's being used as a shelf, so I'm not uh, completely there yet. But this is a restoration project that uh, I've had, a, I don't know, a long time. But it'll be fun to be able to get this over into the new shop, and then as time allows, be able to work on this. So you're gonna have to watch uh, some follow-up videos and see what I'm hiding underneath here. Well, I'll tell you what, we've got the truck loaded, daylight's burning, let's go ahead and hop in the truck we're going to head over to the other place. Let me show you some of the stuff that we've got going on over there. Well, we made it. Now, my last video, I had several comments of folks asking to uh, have the grand tour, that sort of thing. Now, once we do get moved, I'm going to do the full tour. But I figured, uh, you know, while we're here, let me just show you the uh, shop real quick. Now, I have to admit, for a guy, I'm loving this shop. It's 36 feet wide, it's 100 feet long, so it's got all sorts of possibilities. Let's go ahead and head on in, and I'll show you around a little bit. Now, of course, it's going to be darker in here, although I do have lights on. Hopefully, the camera is going to adjust for that. Down this side, there are four horse stalls. I found out from a uh, previous owner that had this barn built, they, sh they used to raise race horses, so that's kind of a cool deal. Now what we're gonna do until we get a place built to actually house all of our poultry, we're gonna put the poultry in these. So we'll have peacocks in one stall, we're gonna have turkeys in one stall, one breed of chickens in a stall, and then another breed of chickens. I know that's gonna be, uh, that's pretty darn country right there, isn't it? But we've got to do what we've got to do just to be able to get moved over here. We've got some pretty big plans, but until then, they're going to live in the horse stalls. Now, when we first got here, 
This was pretty much nothing but dirt, dirt all the way through. I didn't even know these things were a white cream color until uh, just last week. We actually took a day and I power washed the heck out of this thing. I tried uh, sweeping it with the broom and it just wasn't happening. I still need to come back and do some more, but at least I got the big chunks off. Now on this side, there's no lights in this room. We're gonna use this as a growing room. I'm gonna throw some grow lights in here. And since we're not gonna have a greenhouse, that's what this is gonna be used for. Now coming down the aisle, previous owners were kind enough to leave us a refrigerator that doesn't work. That's gonna be going to the scrap pile. But this will end up being our feed room. I guess this feed bin was built in the late 70s. But they've actually had some water damage, a little bit of uh, mold going on in there. So I'm not gonna be able to use that for the goat feed. I'm actually gonna have to take those out. It's kind of a shame, it's really nice craftsman work. It's nice tongue and groove boards. But what I am gonna do, I'm gonna try to remove those as carefully as I can because I'm gonna clean all that up and I'm gonna repurpose that lumber for other projects. Let's keep going. Now this isn't much to look at now, but when nature calls, it does have a uh, little laboratory in here. So it's kind of a neat thing. Now I found out not from the previous owner, but the people that actually had this barn built, this space was used as a wash rack for their horses. It still has a drain in the floor here. And over here is a faucet that leaks like no tomorrow. I've got to get that fixed. We're using it just to store stuff over here, just to get things moved in. But at some point, this will be a nice area to use as a wash rack again. Because of course the boy does have show goats, we're actually planning on doing some show hogs this year. Can you believe that? So we'll have other things that uh, we'll still be able to utilize that wash rack for. Let's keep going. Okay, so don't judge. A lot of this is fence building materials, stuff that we brought from our old place. Of course, we've got the old tractor in here. Can't build fence without that. These shelves were already here. And these I brought from home in our old garage. And of course, once we get moved and time allows, that's all gonna be uh, organized and put together nicely. There's not gonna be any more clutter anymore. Let me show you these two bonus rooms. They're kind of neat. Now this is a metal construction. This was where they kept the tack. Of course, saddles would hang here. Where I've got an extension cord over there is where they kept a lot of the harnesses. And then of course, uh, additional horse tack on this side. Now for us, the only equine we have is that mini mule. And if we were to get a couple of horses, I wouldn't need that many saddle racks. So I'm actually gonna cut those out. And because this room is uh, pretty secure and this is out in the country, I'm going to use this as my tool room. I'm going to be able to lock this up securely and put my tools back here. Now this next space, I guess the people that had the barn built, they used this as a gun cabinet. Now this is all metal construction. It's on a concrete floor. Let me tell you more about it out there because it's echoing in here. I can only imagine what it sounds like to you. Now that room's a lot smaller than what I'm gonna be using for my tool room. And my wife actually came up with a really good idea because we've been talking about doing this for a while. What we're gonna do instead of using that as a uh, gun room, there's another place that I'm gonna keep my guns and it's gonna be a whole lot closer than that. But what we're gonna do in the future, I'm actually gonna make that a walk-in cooler. Now walk-in cooler, you're probably wondering what I need that for. Well, a lot of times out here on the farm, part of the farm life is we do butcher things. Now I'm not gonna show you any video of doing butchering. There's enough other videos out there, but we do butcher, we, we butcher our own animals. And having a walk-in cooler like that would be a great place to uh, be able to safely hang the carcass and let that age before we do the final rendering. Now, of course, I've got double doors there, just like the front entrance to go out. 
But the reason I'm stopping here, right there behind my tractor, you can see one of the red iron structure pieces here. And of course, there's its mate over on this side. Now I know with all the moving and everything, we're not gonna be able to afford to put up another barn for my doe herd this year. So I'm gonna have to share my shop. So what we're gonna do is actually put a fence between uh, that red iron structure and then the one uh, opposing it. And then what I'm gonna have to do is where you see uh, some material lying over there. I'm actually gonna cut a hole in the shop but I'm not just gonna have an open hole. I'm actually going to uh, build a doorway and have it where it's hinged and I can lock it and that sort of thing. But that will lead straight out into that paddock that I showed you on the last video. Now a friend of mine knew that I was gonna be building some fence and he told me about a neat thing uh, last week and we went and took a road trip. As you can see behind me, I've got lots of rolls of fence now. Now, I don't know if any of y'all priced uh, fencing lately. That stuff's uh, pretty pricey. But what uh, he told me about, and I found out about, was there's a uh, place down in southern Oklahoma that sells factory seconds, or it's called number two wire. Although it's uh, brand new wire, it's never been used. There was some kind of manufacturing flaw with it or uh, something like that. So it's sold as number two and it's actually sold by the pound. So what I was able to do was buy uh, quite a bit of that. It's of course not gonna do uh, everything out here on the farm, but it's gonna allow me to do everything that I need to do just to be able to get moved over here. Well, speaking of fence, I need to get back to it. We've got a storm coming in uh, tomorrow. We've had a lot of storms uh, come in lately, so that's really slowed me down on the fence building process, although it's got a lot of stuff moved in the house. But I'm gonna take advantage of today before uh, the storm moves in tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and get some more fencing done. So with some parting thoughts, what are some of the things that you can do to declutter your lives? Not only the physical things that I've talked about today, gosh, I have got a lot of stuff. But what are some things that you can do to also declutter your time? I do appreciate your patience during our move. I've not been able to get a video out the way that I wanted to. There's a lot of times that just due to time or for what I'm doing. It's been uh, difficult to try to get the camera set up and be able to tell an adequate story about what's going on. So I wanna of course get this update out to let you know that I'm thinking about you. And I do appreciate you, I do appreciate your support. And once we do get completely moved, I might actually do a uh, quite a bit longer video. I'll show you the whole process that we've done. I'll do the complete walk around of the property, let you know some ideas of some things that's going on in the future. But until that time, I'm gonna to continue to try to get out uh, these updates just as soon as I can, just as soon as possible. We do have a lot of things coming up in just the next couple of weeks. That it's also uh, gonna take a little bit of time, but it should be fun. Next Friday, we're getting one of two new additions to the farm, and I'm gonna be excited to tell you about that. And then uh, the following week is the Cusca sale, the Central U.S. Kiko Goat Association sale. And I'm gonna be uh, helping out with that, not only helping uh, set up the facilities to, to do the sale, but then I'm also gonna be a participant, having my own goats consigned in there, as well as sitting in on a lot of the speakers. There's a lot of great speakers coming up, and I'm pretty interested in hearing what they have to say. But until next time, I do appreciate you, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next video.